How old were you when you started the company? 26. And, and you were like, I'm gonna start a car company? Yeah, yeah. How does this thing accelerate to 60 miles an hour faster than almost every Ferrari ever made? That's not an accident, that's super intentional technology that's been woven together into the vehicle. It's a business with a very low probability of success. You need a thousand engineers, you need hundreds of suppliers, you need a really tight market position. Your first dollar of your revenue comes after spending three billion. We're living right now in a really weird state, leveraging sources of energy that accumulated on our planet for two, three hundred million years. We as humanity, in less than 150 years, have used more than half of it. It's simply not a choice to move off of fossil fuels. The wrong answer is to tell people that want SUVs and trucks that they have to drive really small electric cars. The right answer is to say, drive the vehicle that you want. Oh, by the way, this now has a path to carbon zero. The goal is to build an adventure-oriented vehicle and rethink the truck and SUV space. I grew up as a kid enamored by and just loving cars. I started to realize that these things that I loved were really damaging the planet, which was also something I loved. You know, when we started the company, it was just me. Just me. Within six months, there was five or six others. Us being a smaller group, we were really close. We all have friends and family asking, what do you do? It was like, I can tell you, it's a secret. Like, no, that's not a real company. You're not working. And they're like, all right, yeah. Do you need lunch money? The initial focus was a sports car. I began to realize that that was not right. We've been doing this for two years. We're really excited. And this is kind of RJ in a nutshell. He's like, yeah, but I've been thinking about it, and I don't think this is a big enough vision. We could do better. What is Rivian? I don't know if you've ever heard the term BHAG, big, hairy, audacious goal. This is a BHAG. The technology doesn't exist for technology's sake. The technology exists to do things that currently are not possible. We actually have a 400-mile range, so this range anxiety goes away. We have a skateboard platform that we sit different vehicles on top. The secret sauce. A good modular design that is scalable. It gave us the opportunity to provide technology to other manufacturers and players in the industry. It's one of the most complex products on the planet in terms of the amount of compute platforms, software layers, drive system. It's like a living organism. The pieces all have to interoperate really closely together. We've taken very much a clean sheet approach. Don't look at other cars, what they're doing. Because if you keep doing things the same way, you will always get the same result. Every bolt and every component is geared towards optimizing for a great electric vehicle experience. Starting fresh allowed us to pick state-of-the-art components from the get-go. It's all new technology. We're developing a brand new battery. We can give you more energy, more range, more power. All you're going to hear is the wheels on the dirt as you're driving through the open expanse. When a customer is going to drive this car for the first time, I think there will be a, <gasps> shit, this is fast. <laughs> but I feel in control to ascend and descend some unbelievable terrains. It's got sports car level performance on the road, but then to have the level of off-road capability with that is something that's never been done before. There's a massive transformation coming. I've never said this out loud, but what used to bother me the most was not building something successful and all of what I was doing just being another source of wasted carbon. It motivated me to say, all right, I better make this work. We've hired the best people in the world from a bunch of different industries. Before Rivian, I was at McLaren. Netflix, Intel, almost four great years at Tesla. I was very lucky to lead the groups that created Wi-Fi, the iMac. I started the iPhone project. I think I have my name on maybe close to 100 patents. Everyone has different ways of looking at things, different experiences. I spend most of my emotional energy getting really capable, really smart people to work together. When you're innovating, it tends to drive some level of friction, which isn't necessarily bad. Sometimes courage is a bit of, oh, I'm courageous, are you courageous? Let's, let's push together. How's your day been so far? It's been intense. <laughs> I told RJ the lights are ugly, and he said, don't worry, they grow in you. Seen something grow from literally 30 people in a garage to this 2,000 people plus company with sites all over the world, it's just mind blowing. How many square feet is this factory? It's 2.6 million square feet. The first vehicle will roll off the assembly line at the end of 2020. 
We have the will, the drive, and the facilities to do it. We got to deliver. There's just no alternative. Do whatever you want to do with this vehicle. Bash on it, trash on it, get it dirty. Go exploring and have something that's good for the planet. The product's amazing, but those experiences are eternal. That's what really motivates us all at the end of the day. The longer we take to switch off fossil fuels, the greater risk we put on the likelihood of life surviving on this planet. When you know exactly how close you are to the edge, it's my coping mechanism to focus on how right it would be when we pull it off.